At 530 tonight, jury deliberations are underway in the manslaughter trial of James Crumbly. Now that name might sound familiar because he's the father of a teen who shot and killed four classmates at a Michigan high school back in 2021. Now Crumbly could be facing up to 15 years in prison if he's convicted. His wife Jennifer was found guilty on the same charges last month. Ivan Rodriguez has the very latest from the courtroom. This case is not about what happened inside of Oxford High School. During closing arguments, James Crumbly's attorney pleaded ignorance on her client's behalf, saying he did not know his son had gained access to the gun and didn't believe there was an imminent threat of danger. If the prosecution had evidence that James knew that his son was accessing firearms without his permission, the prosecution would have shown you that, but you didn't see it. The prosecution arguing Crumbly was not only irresponsible, but acted with gross negligence, saying it's his fault the weapon wasn't secured properly and that he ignored warning signs regarding his son's mental health. This case is not about holding James Crumbly responsible for what his son did. It's about his legal duty and his failure to perform it or to perform it in a, in a negligent way. With the jury out of the room, James Crumbly, unlike his wife Jennifer in her case, decided not to testify. It is my decision to remain silent. A key difference between both trials is the prosecution's focus on Crumbly's decision to buy the gun for his son and how it was stored. You hear him say the gun was hidden. You hear him say that there was some doodling on a paper, that he, it was, he was a perfect kid. But here's what he never says. He never says, I don't know how he got it. Jennifer Crumbly's case was the first time a parent of a school shooter was held directly responsible for the killings. A jury now faces another historic decision. Ivan Rodriguez, WUSA 9.